Okay, so we continue our journey in Module 2 on voltage with this video on electromagnetic induction. So the previous video was on magnetism. We talked a little bit about how magnetism worked, and we, we hinted, more than hinted, in that video that uh, electromagnetism, that, that magnetic forces can help to generate electricity. So we want to talk a little bit more detail about how that happens. How can you use magnetism to generate electricity. So here is a hand-drawn diagram. It's not great, but I did it with my own hand. So how do we generate electric current? So in this picture here, and this is taken from the Navy Basic Electricity Electronics um, manuals of, of the past from back in, I think, the 60s. But anyway, so let's say we've got magnet number one here and magnet number two here. And this is the north pole of magnet number one and this is the south pole of magnet number two. And so opposites attract uh, was one of the things we learned in the previous video. And so the magnetic field, and I, I've drawn an arrow to it, the magnetic field goes from north to south. And so you've got magnetism coming across this kind of traffic, you know, the, you know, the dr driving this way, we have the electromagnetic field. Now this is some sort of a conductor, maybe a wire. And if you can, if you can see, we're we're pushing. It's it's hard to hard to maybe to see it first. But let me go ahead and tell you, this wire we are taking it from the bottom, and we're pushing it to the top. So the movement of the conductor is from the bottom to the top through the magnetic field. Okay, magnetic field's going this way, and we're going to move this conductor up through. Whoops, up through the magnetic field. And what happens when you do that? It's amazing, this is something discovered in the 1800s, that if you have a magnetic field and you move a conductor perpendicular, it's very important, it has to be at a right angle uh, to the magnetic field. But if you, if you move a conductor up through a magnetic field, it generates electricity. Electrons are moved by this motion in this direction. And so because the electrons are moving in this direction, this is the negative uh, end electrically, and then the positive end is this way. Why? Because the electrons are coming this way. And so we're, we've got negativity coming this direction. All right? So this gives rise to what's sometimes called the left-hand rule, which surprisingly involves your left hand. And so to do this left-hand rule, you, your index finger, make, make like a gun, your index finger should point in the direction of the magnetic field. So you can see that my, my finger, my index finger is pointing in the direction that the magnetic field is going. And then your thumb goes in the direction that the conductor is going. So remember the conductor is going up, and so my thumb is going up. And so then your second finger tells you which directions the electron, which direction the electrons are going to flow, and the electrons are displaced in this direction. That's the left-hand rule. Who knew? Um, and so this left-hand rule, again, index finger in the direction of the magnetic field, thumb in the direction that the conductor is moving, and then the second finger is going to show you which direction the electrons are going to move. Isn't that neat? I think that's neat. All right, so there are three ways. How do you, and, th and this is creating an electromagnetic force, a force of electricity. How do you, so there are three ways to increase electromagnetic force or EMF in this kind of situation. One, you can increase the strength of the magnetic field. And so if you make the magnetic field stronger, maybe use stronger magnets or, or whatever, and usually that's symbolized by more lines, uh, uh, more compact lines is usually the way you draw a stronger magnetic field. But one of the ways to increase the electromagnetic force is by increasing the strength of the magnetic field. Another way to increase the strength of the, of the electromagnetic field is to move the conductor up more quickly. So the faster you move the conductor through the electromagnetic field, I mean through the magnetic field, the faster the, the strong electromagnetic force, electromagnetic force is created, okay? So one, increase the magnetic field. Two, increase the speed of conductor motion. And then the third one's kind of a surprise. If you increase the length of the moving conductor. That one that's that one always surprises me. So the longer the longer this conductor is that you're moving through the the uh, electromagnetic field, the stronger the uh, electromagnetic force is, is going to be. Who knew? Um, and again, like I said, the conductor has to be moving perpendicular to the magnetic field as it as it moves through it. 
Well, there you have it. This has been a video on electromagnetic induction. How do you take a magnetic field and use it to create electricity?